What's up everyone? So in today's video, we will be talking about Santa Claus. And no, 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 we are not going to be talking about the actual real life person who did live named Saint Nicholas. No, we will be talking about the made up fictional character named Santa Claus who we see all around at this time of year in the month of December. The man with the red suit, big belly, white beard, he's got a sleigh with reindeer, and he flies around the world delivering gifts to all of the children who are found on his good list. And for those children who are not found on the good list, they're put on the naughty list, and coal is what's delivered in their stockings. So guys, why are we talking about this? Well, you'll see it happen, guys, with the Christian community, a lot of Christians just kind of avoid doing Santa, celebrating him, making him a part of Christmas. And you'll see people who are on the other side of that kind of look at those as if they're causing their children to miss out on something magical. Now, now yes, guys, I grew up and I grew up making cookies and putting carrots out for Santa and his reindeer and writing a list to Santa Claus and all of those things. I grew up, it was a magical experience as a kid. I'm not traumatized after finding out that Santa Claus wasn't real. Um, it didn't affect me in any way. But guys, that's what it was about for me. And, and see, we all know the song. I'll read it for you, but it's, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. And then it talks about he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. And then the song goes on and it's pretty repetitive. But see, here's the issue with the Santa Claus that we have created with the red suit, the big belly, the white beard. See, the issue lies in what we are telling our children. Listen, you better be good. If you want gifts, if you want that new toy, you better be good. You better obey what I'm saying. Because Santa Claus is watching. And if you're not good, then you don't get those things. See, we hear parents say it all the time this time of year. Santa Claus is watching, and if you're not good, then you're going to miss out on all the presents. Or, hey, I will tell Santa not to deliver presents to this house come Christmas morning. You know, so we, we see it said, we hear it said, and... And that's actually what the issue is, because this goes against what Christ taught. See, Christ offers us the ultimate gift. This gift that he offers us is free. There's nothing that we can do good-wise to earn it. There aren't enough good morals that we can do in order for him to give it to us. See, this gift that I'm talking about, guys, is completely free. And it's the gift of salvation. And we see in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, how we receive this gift. It says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And Christ is saying, listen, I'm not requiring you to live up to the standard of anything, but come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me, repent of your sins, and put your faith in me, and I will give you the free gift of salvation. I understand that December 25th was not the savior of the world's birthday. Jesus was not born on December 25th. I understand that. But that's not the point. Because if the Lord wanted to make it a point to tell us when the Savior of the world was born, he would have put it in his word for us. But he didn't. And the fact is, is yes, Jesus was born. 
and he was brought into this world. And, and what we've sadly made Christmas about is we've made it about Santa Claus and the gifts. When really Christmas is about remembering the birth of our Savior, the one who can save us from our trespasses and sins, the one who can grab us and pull us out of the direction of going to hell and bring us into his kingdom of heaven. We need to switch our way of celebrating Christmas. We need to put the focus on Christ, not Santa Claus, this fictional made-up character. We need our children to know what Christmas is all about. And it's about the Savior of the world coming into this world to atone for our sins, for those who put their faith in him and him alone. I hope that this would better understand and give us clarity on why celebrating Santa falls into some dangerous area because Santa requires us to live up to a standard of some kind of goodness in order to earn these gifts. And Christ simply has his hands out free saying, just come to me. And he gives us the free gift of salvation. That is the ultimate gift we should all be seeking after.